Right, okay, I've done all the, um, backed everything. Okay, so now I'm just going to go through the journal just to see if I want to add any more stamping. And I'll give you a quick, quick flick through after I've done this. I just made a little tuck spot there. Oh, they're a freebie on my website, those ones, okay. Get quite a few of those. Right, let's have a look. Um, yeah, just just going to dot it around. It's not going to be heavy. It's just very lightly. I'm using archival, okay, because it's waterproof and permanent. And this one's as a Kaiser craft. I've had it a long time, so I think it's one of the first Tex ones I ever got actually. But that, like, that's all I'm going to do. Yeah. So a bit there. Just like that. Go under there a little bit. And maybe down there. Oh, blends in. Looks like it's part of the paper. <laughs> Clever, really. There, that's all there is to that. And let's just get a bit of this ink. Okay, cut the places where I want to ink up a little bit. Just, uh, just here and there, that's all. And here. to change them really. Right, I'm gonna ink up this edge here. Okay, 
that I think is it let's hope it fits in <laughs> so I've added everything now and it's sort of all the tags are double aren't they because I've backed them all so keep your fingers crossed what I'll do now I've got quite a length here so I think I'll double it and do it that way oops well I haven't put my stamp on I'll do that that off a bit Okay, keep your fingers crossed, folks. <laughs> Mind you, I could always take some stuff out and bung it in there, couldn't I? Bung it. Okay, I think it's going to go in. I can't believe it. If it does, that might be... Oh, no, it's plenty of room. And I think I'll put that there. Pretty chunky, but we done it. Here we go. Okay. Well, that's that done. Finished. Look at that. Go through it right the way through now. Which I'll get my bit of net and then we'll go from there. Do we need anything? No, I don't think we need anything because that can go there. Yeah, that's plenty in there. And plenty of fluffy bits. Lovely. Okay. All right. Here we go. I just want to show you this because remember I had a very, very blunt straight line. Okay. And just by adding a little bit more lace and different things, we got rid of it. So I think that's worked out quite nicely. Yeah. I won't take all this out here because you've seen that. You've seen me make it. And you see me make most of the journal. Uh, that's the back there. If you haven't, you can just go back and have a look. There'll be a play playlist in the description. Yeah, and that's the little journal we made. Okay, and that, that was that end bit that I was talking about that I cut off. And I just made that into a little tag and I thought, no, let's go in in the front there yeah like that and there's the back all right let's get that that's it that's plenty there so and there's a bit of vellum here and i've got that that's also um a freebie on the that's this one here Okay, just scrunched it up a bit. I'll leave that off until after. Right, and that's pinned in there. That's that. Now, I just think I showed everything. That's just 
the tag and I'll just put some bits on the top yeah, I showed how to do this and everything I yeah uh, like I say I backed everything and that was a postcard and that was one of the actual pages shrunk down and then I made it into a postcard Actually, I was going to do a bit of stamping on there. All right, I must do that because I know I will forget. All right, let's have a look. To, excuse me. If I don't do it now, I'll forget. So, I need a little bit on there. There was me thinking I'd finished. <laughs> Okay. It's lovely the way this pink has come through and that was where I laid um, the coffee stain papers on my inkjet printed ones and I soaked it in tea so the colour come out and went onto these pages and it just worked out beautifully couldn't have wished for it to look any better okay. I'll show you what it's done okay if I don't want my ink to print with my inkjet I print on matte photo paper and then it doesn't happen so much it still happens but you can get away with a lot more I've never actually put um, coffee stain papers through my printer it's always been the other way around and there we go it's just a few little bits and pieces there just a bit of spare paper but it's a nice bit if you know what I mean it's so I thought I'd include that in there now I just made put those on there because they're not using any charms or anything so I just thought there's a little bit of decoration there um, this is just a plain tag Right, um, lines on the back. And then just put a bit of fluff on the top. And these, this is a like a double pocket. And I just put a tiny bit of, oh, I, I know why I've done that. It's because it was upside down and the, I've got these pieces of paper with it that says date on it. And it was upside down. So I thought, oh, I'll just put that on to cover that up. Yeah. So it solved that problem. Yeah, it's this one, you see. And I backed these and the date was upside down and down there. So it looked a bit silly. I didn't even think when I was doing it. Okay. Let's say it's not, you know, not overly going on there. But, and that's that bit of paper that I showed you. Just a bit of lace on the top and some nice cut pieces there. Okay, that was from one of the pages. That was left over a bit. And that's one of the tags. Yeah, just one of the tags there. Just put some bits and pieces on the top and the same as here that was one of the background pages oh, I cut this out of one of the tags and I put that on there and then I covered it with vellum just a little envelope there there's almost something there really but I quite like the way that's looking so um, I think that's one of the pages shrunk down as well and a just put in one of these like I said I don't know what it says or what it's about but I think like I said it's a composer by the look of it I'm sure that's what it is <laughs> don't quote me though <laughs> it might not be <laughs> I'm not really up to date or any knowledge on composers <laughs> uh, that one there <laughs> That was a quick video today, isn't it? 
and that was that plain bit. I moved it because I couldn't remember where I put it. So I, I mean, I could look at my video and see where I had it, but I actually quite liked where it went there. So I've just backed it with an index card. Yeah, I thought we do need some plain dotted around, and that's it. There we go. All done. Wow, that was thoroughly enjoyed that, and I hope you've um, enjoying the kit yourself. I'm sure you are. And I use that to go, and I put it so that it's underneath that, this bit going on here. So we can sort of almost cover it, yeah? And I think these make lovely little gifts, because honestly, you could you make them so quickly, these sort of things. I mean, you could literally make leave them plain, totally plain, but as you know, um, I struggle with that. <laughs> Definitely struggle with that. <laughs> but I think I, I don't bear and I thought I was going to. That's why I have my backup plan, don't I? With the um, bag. So I really thought oh, I'm going to be having to put it in the bag. There. So... Well, thank you very much for all your wonderful comments on the kit and everything. It's absolutely lovely. Thank you. And you all are very welcome. Okay. So I'm sure there'll be some more freebies coming up. So. There you go. Push that in there. And there we go. Okay. Let's straighten that up a bit. Perfect. Well, not perfect, if you know what I mean, but <laughs> means perfect that I've finished. It's a, it's, it's a saying we tend to do in um, Cornwall, I think, or say, oh, that's perfect. You know, it's, it's quite a, it's a common word that we use here. Okay, well, I hope you're all keeping well and take care, all of you. All right, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.